Hello my friends, my name is Dragonheart, the Prince of Wales, and welcome to Divide et Impera, Divide and Conquer mod for Total War Rome 2. We are playing, of course, as Rome, and this is my first time playing the mod in its current state. I played it briefly, probably about a year or two ago now, but I haven't played a proper campaign with it yet. And I think now would be a good time to get back into Rome 2. It's been out five years. We've all had mixed opinions of the game, but now I'd like to get into this mod and just try my best to enjoy it with you guys so yeah hopefully it'll be a good campaign if you like the sound of that guys then by all means drop a like on the video it'd mean a lot to me so we start off with war of course with uh, Epirus who own Taras and Apollonia now this mod changes quite a lot of different things you can download it off Steam I think it's 10 parts you have to download in, in, uh, in total it does give you some other factions to play as as well uh, we're actually on a two-fronted war by here. We're at war with uh, it, the Etruscans, Eturia, in the north. Let's get our technology going. And let's actually get... Let's see. These both take a turn. Each recruitment of a baggage train. Let's get that baggage train to start off with. Lots of stuff we can build right now. Got minus 11 public order in Latium. Let's get rid of that guy by there. Um, we, we own Crescentia as well and Beneventum. Let's actually get this su advice suppressed. Things do change quite a lot though in this game. So for example, you now have set, uh, effects such as population, region growth. You can see by here 35,000 in the region of Italia by here. These are all things that will play a role. I'm thinking we're going to go for Taras with probably these two armies. That we have here. Try and push down and take that to get the whole full province of Italia. I can upgrade, of course. Uh, let's upgrade Beneventum. Uh, let's upgrade Crescentia as well. Uh, let's get a civil settlement there. Let's actually expand Crescentia and we're going to get ourselves. Some Latin culture with consecrated ground. Commander. Okay, you can move as far as there. Epirus have a spy by here. That being said, we probably should consider attacking Epirus. Let's go spy to move. Right, yeah, they have an army here, look. The Shields of Minerva. So this army is probably going to be used to go there. So let's put you in Rome. You can at least attack in the north that way. Ready for battle. And you can see a nice variety of troops here. Recruit this unit will draw from the available manpower in this region. Manpower cost. Might be interesting to get some of these. They're, they're basically a militia. Obviously, Hastati costs a lot more, and Principes cost a lot more as well. Get Equites as well. Get some, some Slingers, some Levies. So, quite a nice little recruitment system that's changed here with Divide and Conquer. Not going to do anything just yet, though. Let's try and focus on Asculum as well. Let's upgrade Asculum to a Roman village. Okay, I'll lose food if I get this. So let's build this up here to get myself a villa for some more food. I can um, get more developed land here again. Don't, don't want to go too crazy, though. Commander. Can obviously get mercenaries in this region as well. No point yet, though. Let's actually try it then. Let's get some militiamen. And let us get some... Javelins or slingers? What are we going to go with? Let's go for slingers. That'll probably be enough one turn. Still got 13,000 left. Don't want to move you out until I'm confident. Let's get you some more troops. We've got uh, some Samnite. Early Samnite principes here. Extraordinary Pedetes, I think it's pronounced. Quite a few Hastati, uh, Samnite uh, units here. Interesting. Um, I like the fact you can get them from certain regions, which is quite nice. Nice touch. Region, Cosentia. Hmm. These are levies. Sicilian levies, basically. Sensi, levy, slingers. Again, I need slingers. Let's get one of them. Let's actually get one of these as well. 
Right, we've got 12,000 left to spend. Building there and building here. I don't want to build too deep just yet. I don't want to build at a minimum until I'm pushing forward a bit more. I could, of course, use my spy to sabotage their army. No point doing it yet, though. For now, let's just get you to go beyond their regions, the borders. Just see if there's anything else around here you need to be worried about. Looks like they only have the one settlement here, so we take that. We're looking good. Let us check our diplomacy. We've got war with Epirus, the Etruscans. Syracuse is not too happy with me either. Probably end up with war with them eventually. Okay, the RDI are neutral, so let's try and I welcome you, uh, keep speaker. that in, in place. I listen because your people are known to have honor. Although I can't get anything with them currently. Oh, I can get trade though. Okay, let's see if we can get some money out of them. 300 and some trade. Your Excellent. Fair and honorable. I right. swear. The Diorcy. They're neutral as well. Greetings. Non aggression is low. Without idle purpose, trade is high though. Will be well. Excellent. Okay, so. Strikes home after same all. offer to them. Accepted. I can sense that the Veneti in the north. Probably better to get the trade. To you. I trust you come with honorable words that I can hear kindly. No. Just trade them. Sure that your way... No. Your goods. The Ligurians. I welcome you, worthy speaker. I listen because your people are known to have honor. Lovely. Okay. You have spoken fair. Massalia. Be welcome. But may Athena Ooh, strike us high. all dumb if we speak anything but truth in our deliberations. They even get more out of these because they have more money. Oh yeah, we get more money out of these. 900. That's high, oh my word, okay. They have so much money, Massalia. Really? They have that much money? Max it out. Okay, 3,000. And your trade. I'll definitely be taking that money. Accept. And Carthage, of course. Our mortal enemy. We're actually trading with them currently. And they're friendly with me. Interesting stuff there. Okay, so I've got 16,000. I can actually spend more if I need to. My wits and words are yours. Got a governor here. Uh, can actually get him to sabotage as well. The governor will use to look at... Um, Epirus, let's get down here, see what's going on, if anything at all. So we're going to be going there next turn. Uh, you're the Epirus spy. You're recruiting. I can't recruit more at the moment, though. I can obviously get more mercenaries, although I'm not going to do that. I think two armies is enough. Carthage actually have an army there. Okay, let's end turn. Bringing in 2,000 a turn. And that is our first turn of this campaign, guys. Like I said, this is my first time playing this campaign properly. Certainly on YouTube. I'm playing this on the recommended normal normal, which is what they put on the description of the mod. Because it does change an awful lot. Battles are a lot longer. And a lot harder as well. Campaign map is a bit more aggressive and a bit more testing than the, the default campaign. And so there's some graphical overhauls. There's some features that have changed. As I mentioned earlier about population playing a factor. Um, you notice with the units that some of them play a factor now as well. Like Sam Knight units and etc. You know, that sort of thing. These are all things you have to consider. Right, they do have an army here. Ooh, he has ten. Right, Cyclops Slayers. We only have seven. We're going to march as far as the border in that case. I'm just going to camp at this border here. If he comes out and attacks me, then fair enough. I'm going to... Get myself another slinger. Um, I want to get some of those big units. I want to try to get a bit of everything. Right. That'll do. He comes out and attacks me, then fair play. Can I attack him with my agent? I can. Chance of success is terrible, though. 5%. It's not worth it at all, is it? No, you haven't moved five. At your command. Okay, I could actually take you out of the nine I have. What's the population like? Oh, 11. Not as good. Ready for battle. Could obviously get these. 
get another three. Although I don't want to have loads of mercenaries, do I? Let's move you up to the border. Ready for orders. You're going to recruit on the border for me. Got some Equites. Some Hastati. Triari. Get more of those militiamen. Let's get some levies as well. I'm, I'm having a bit of a mixture, really. Alright, that'll do. 14. Okay, Ariminum. Maybe I can upgrade Ariminum. Get my port up. Oh, I can actually produce food if I get a fishing port. I need the food. I've only got six food. I want to try and max that out if I can. Uh, Ascalum. Building more stuff there is going to produce food. Rome, I could increase here. I can get five food there. Provides garrison. One grain. An amphitheater for the public order. Let's get the amphitheater. Okay, we've got 8,000 left. Losing money quite rapidly now. Okay, Beneventum. We're going to upgrade that next. Beneventum. Something that's going to help me out. Public order. Possibly. Food. Uh, maybe. In public order. I always change it afterwards if I have to. Right, 6,000 left. Okay, morale for melee infantry. Morale's important. Let's get that. Leave the le the rest for now. Do I want to march up there or not? Could obviously try and use you to sabotage, although it's still not worth it. It's kind of annoying, really. Could sabotage the settlement, although I can't. Chance of success is too low. All right, we'll leave it there. End turn. End turn again. See what happens. Obviously, the names of the factions have changed as well. I'm not sure if there's another mod you can use to replace the names, but they're going with the kind of original names of what they would have been known as in the native sort of tongue at the time. You can pretty much work out which ones they are though from the base game, because the the symbols are obviously still the same for most of these. But yeah, interesting mod. And uh, if, if I'm going to get back into Total War and Rome 2, then this is probably the mod for me. Alright. Still only got 8 and 14. They got 20. I could probably attack them now. I'll get the mercenaries before I do attack. Um, you guys have got some troops there. I want to try and get an open field battle if I can. Okay, let's have a battle, guys. Okay, I can't get them anymore. Cannot recruit. But I can get more of these. More of them. There we go. Let us try my spy first. 37%. I might take that chance. I'm going to take the spy chance on the sabotage. Hopefully it works. It's pretty much a 1 in 3 chance. Oh yes. Well done. Successful. So the sabotage has worked. Although I can't tell it has worked. Right. Let's attack. Eretium. Could auto this, of course. Should be the better prepared army, though. Let's fight it. We have 3,000 troops. They have about 3,000 as well. The amount of troops you have per unit is a lot more as well. I have about 200 per unit at the moment. Or thereabouts. The enemy sallies out to fight me in the field. Interesting that the Etruscans would do this, but okay. Not a problem. We'll fight them in the field if need be. This is a good chance for us to get a good look at our troops to see what they look like. So yeah, if you want me to turn this into a series, guys, and keep this series going, then by all means, please let me know in the comment section, guys. The more support I get, then the more I know that I want to make these videos. Um, because Total War, you know, it's close to my heart. It's, it's a fantastic uh, video game. All right, how am I going to do this? Going to link up all my infantry into one group. I think we are. I have a certain way of doing things. And I got my cab then. Into group three. Apparently we are hidden here. Although... Oh, look at this! Look at the AI! 
Oh, it puts stakes down. Interesting. When's the AI ever do that? Alright. I'll bite. I'm gonna push up as far as they. Just gonna push everything up slightly. I'm happy to keep my cav back. I need to keep my cav away from that, so maybe I'll move my cav left flank. Yeah, I think I'll walk my cab to the left flank for now. And of course we can use the, the tactical map to see what's going on as well, which is quite a nice feature in this Total War game. I think... Have they actually put... I think they got still on the left flank, actually. You little buggers, you. Well, the AI has shocked me already with this. Okay. Where's it gone? Yeah, they've actually... If I can get the camera on it, they've put stuff down on the left flank as well. Barricades. And they've put, like, rocks and stuff down as well. Well, I was expecting a, an easy street battle, and they sallied out, and they actually put traps down. Well played, the AI here, I think. Well played, indeed. Did not expect this. Right, let's fast forward it. Battles do take a long time in this mod, or can take a long time. Right, are they going to turn out and attack me? I think they are, okay. So are they all coming from that? Forest there, I think they are. So what we will do... I'm going to stretch my two lines out there. I'm going to try a little envelopment tactic here. Get my calf down to this flank. Oh shit, this is going to be awkward. I kind of have to go through the centre with my calf here. Actually, no, we don't have to go through the centre. Of course don't. Yeah, let's get on there. Let's get away from that. Levies. For some reason, I got a levy by here. Stop. Fight the then. Phalanx. Get the phalanxes out. Get you around there. There's only a town guard, so they should be fine. Um, let's get a phalanx out. Let's get a dirty phalanx out. This is going to be the worst phalanxes ever, by the way. I've been a bit slow with the phalanx this year. Okay, let's get you in the centre. Attack those citizens for me. My main um, infantry can start attacking here. Fire there, right? You two. I like the fact you do this as well. You can aim for center. You guys just keep shooting there. Attack them on the left flank, right? You guys, are you around? Right, get around. Yeah, dangerous bringing my cavalry all the way out like this, but I wanted to not take casualties on these bloody things that they've got barricades and spikes and whatnot. Okay, you can concentrate fire on them by there. Hit those Italian citizens, they are shaken, not stirred. Right. Gone past the barricades. Take out those Felites Italian sea for me. We're in decisively, this is good. We're going to hold that position there as well if you can. How are these phalanxes doing? If I can sort of zoom in and show you guys what's going on here. See that we are holding just about. Which one's the general? There he is. He's good. My Roman general is just doing, doing the job here, wiping them all out, charging in, taking out the shaken Italians here. Okay, you're inferior. You are. Charge into the back of them and help out. Okay, you've attacked me there. Guess what's going to happen. Concentrate your fire on that general for me. Two of you. Charge through onto them. 
You can keep routing them off. Gonna go right through the line by here. Got spearmen chasing out the Italian citizens here. Get out of phalanx. Get out of phalanx. Charge quicker. Phalanx. And now we're going to phalanx to finish them off there. Excellent stuff. Cavalry. Just stay behind the lines. You're away from the barricades and traps and stuff. Right, my levy here. Let's get behind the lines, my levies. I just misclicked then. Get behind the lines. I'm going to try and get you out flank if I can. There we go. Could inspire, could rally. Not going to even do anything like that yet. Uh, I think this is where we need support right now. Right, this Triari unit has come back for some apparent reason. I think we need you over here. I'd like to get you back in if possible. Right, you've come back. You need to help out. Get up in, help out. There's 100, uh, 200 men there to charge again, so please charge against them. It's not over yet. It's still up in the air slightly. Just gotta let my cavalry do its thing. Okay, what's happening here? Why are you just... Okay. <laughs> Out of phalanx and charge. This is something I have to get used to. I'm not used to this sort of thing. I just stay like taking all the damage. Right. Get out and charge them. Actually push forward onto them. Get some more kills. Same with you. Push out. Same with you. Counter charge those Italian citizens that are shaken. Okay, this is good now. The general's confident although he's taking quite a bit of damage. I'm going to get you both to push up. Interesting shape of the battlefield so far. Hit them for me. Yeah, you keep hitting them. My general's just mopping up right now. I've lost a single unit in his, in his, uh, in his troop yet, which is impressive. Taking ages to kill these, uh, these slingers though, isn't it? You can see the length of this battle. It's taken eight minutes already. On a regular campaign, this battle would have taken less than five minutes, so you can see the effect that this mod's having already. But I'm just going to have this episode as like a taster. If you want to see more of this sort of thing, then let me know. And I can hopefully provide that entertainment for you. Got levies against their swordsmen here. My levies are actually doing a pretty good job against their swordsmen. It's even, and they are shaken, so might be able to get the win there. Right, all of you grind on that general apart from you you can pull out I don't know why I've got my slingers in there but there we are keep hitting those swordsmen for me my god it takes ages to kill doesn't it 144 still haven't lost a single horse yet they're all going to route soon well, at least you think so Balance of power is four fifths in my favour, I would say. There we go. I'm gonna get one of these units to flank around down by there. Pretty green across the board, only the Hastati there and I've got levies that are running away in the centre be expected really that are sort of routed from this battle we're gonna go phalanxing into the uh, into the behind by here and I'm gonna have to get you down there to help out as well I want you to come down the hill that's an extra unit oh my cab done over here okay you still <laughs> still haven't done it don't know what's going on over here it's lined up for some reason Bit buggy, maybe. There we go. I'm gonna just phalanx into that. I'm gonna phalanx into the into the slingers against the side there. My general's doing a pretty good job there as well. Oh! And their equites have charged out. Guess what that means? I'm gonna come in now with my Truscani mercenari Astati. Hopefully, get some kills on the general here. 
Okay. One go that way. One go that way. I want to break as many of these troops as we can. Come on, grind on them. You can keep shooting them. You can chase them down. Oh, look at this! Holy crap. The generals just ran off a bunch of my troops here. Holy crap. Well, you wouldn't expect that, would you? How many troops are running from the general here? All of them are running. I don't understand this. Please, if you know what's going on, tell me. The general's just wiping out a bunch of my troops here. Alright, get you all over here. Let's get my cavalry back into the mix. Bring all my troops in. Gonna just fly out flank them with all my troops now. Guard mode, mount. Flying wedge. Pull away from them. Don't want to be clashing against them, do we? Okay. All of you. Get in on them. Get in on them. Get my cavalry over there. Get all my cavalry up here. It's still holding on. The last few troops are still fighting. The very existence of uh, the Etruscan League here. It's interesting. Forty nine left. Try and bombard them if I can. I'm going to get my Hastati to try and hopefully take some of them out. Still forty nine. Get in, get in there, charge him down. I like every troop here at the moment. There we go, charging in. Need to miss that then on the, on the camera. Ah, here we go, they're shaking now. Starting to waver, that's going to be it. They're going to be gone. It's a word. Battle's done, guys. Victory. Decisive victory, although it took a few losses than I, more than I thought. 237 kills with my general. 204 there's my other cavalry. 171 there. 139 took some damage. 227 there. 209. Some good kills across the board. Longer battles. More troops. I had more kills. Very, very good stuff. And I can obviously occupy this, which I will do. I've occupied Aretium. And I've increased in rank. The Etruscan League is no more. I'm going to end this episode here, guys. So let me know in the comment section if you want to see me continue this save with Divide and Conquer mod with Rome. I've been Dragonheart. Until next time, goodbye.